Jay Happ seemed to get off to a fairly good start, and then things really uh, escalated there in the fourth and fifth. Yeah, um, I thought his stuff was really good. You know, you know, more of what we've seen certainly recently, but I even thought maybe his stuff was even a little bit better tonight there, especially early. You know, ran, ran into some control problems there in the fourth, was able to make a big pitch to get out of it, obviously. Um, but I think it tacks him a little bit and then comes out and walks a guy in the next inning and, um, you know, wasn't able to finish it off uh, in that inning and then, you know, looked like he missed down and in uh, for the homer. So, um, you know, obviously a little frustrating just because of how well he started out in that game and how it looked like he was, he was going to be able to get us deep in the game. But, um, you know, to their credit, they strung together some tough at bats against him. Why do you think things changed for him? Was it a matter of not executing pitches, fatigue, as you mentioned, or, or just a little bit of bad luck as well? Yeah, I don't think it was fatigue. Um, you know, I think he just lost the strike zone there a little bit in that fourth inning where, um, you know, there was about that 10, 12 pitch, you know, where he struggled a little bit with location, got himself into, into trouble, but made a big pitch to get out of it to, to limit the damage or to no damage there in the fourth and then comes out I think he walked the leadoff hitter to start that next inning so um, I don't think it was really a case of fatigue I think he just kind of lost strikes on there for a minute. Adovino obviously struggled a little bit as well what are you seeing from him? <clears throat> yeah um, you know Gar just not being able to put away Garcia there where he gets ahead of him one two um, and Garcia to his credit you know spoiled some tough pitches it r runs the count three two ends up having a real long at bat and then he takes advantage of just kind of a get me over slider I think that he just wanted to flip in for a strike so just his not not able to put him away there when he had a chance to and then um, you know and, and then and then they really made him work they gave him some tough at bats we had to get him out of there obviously when he got up over 30 but just uh, you know Garcia got him tonight you mentioned that he was not able to put him away. He yeah. had five, uh, fouled off yeah. five pitches with, with two strikes. Is that just a mental mind game for a pitcher on the mound when that's going on? Yeah, I mean, you got you got to keep making pitches, and, you know, you got to tip your cap a little bit to Garcia for being able to spoil. I thought a couple of those pitches were actually pretty good that he's able to just, just get a piece of to extend the at-bat and finally took advantage of, a, of obviously, a pitch he could handle. But, um, you know, I think... You know, that's the frustrating one is you get ahead like that. Uh, you want to be able to put them away to start that inning. I mean, yeah, just a stretch and, um, you know, uh, we'll get it going. Um, you know, this is all, you know, all part of it. It's not all going to be smooth sailing all the time. And I uh, look forward to CC going out there tomorrow and, and getting us going uh, in the right direction. Aaron, you guys have lost seven out of ten. Is there one thing you chalk it up to? Or no, it I think, it, yeah, I think it's been a little of everything. There's been a couple games where, we, you know, I haven't scored enough tonight. You know, we, we get off to a good start, obviously, with four, but aren't able to tack on any, um, you know. They got to the pen a couple times in, in, in a couple of those losses. Um, you know, it's been just a little bit of everything that, you know, there's a fine line sometimes between winning games and, and not winning games, and we just haven't been quite as crisp in every facet. And hopefully tomorrow we can start uh, turning the corner on it. What keeps you confident that you're going to be able to Good turn players. things around? Good players. Right mindset. Um, you know, and, and they walk in that room with a lot of comp confidence and expectations and, and, you know, they won't flinch from this either.